forward towards one side, and if you want, you can just reach your arm over too. Does this look like, like 80s aerobics or what? <laughs> and then lean over towards the other side, and then, then just stretch over there. <laughs> we had to do it in gym class. <laughs> And then just do that. And if you, you know, you can let your, your, your heel come up. And you just want to just kind of do nice, slow motions back and forth. Um, and so with the girls, you can say, okay, let's just be a tree. And, you know, just kind of wave back and forth. A tree in the wind. You can kind of rock back and forth, forward and backwards a little bit, too. So incorporate that motion. The next one is arm circles. And pretty self-explanatory. I told Sandy I didn't know how to do arm circles, but I was only half joking. The instructions are kind of funny. <laughs> so you're just going to put your arms out to the side. You're just going to make small circles and then gradually get larger circles here. Doing it both forwards and nice and slow, nice big circles, forwards, and then backwards as well. Okay? And then the next one that we're going to do, we're going to start moving here. So we're going to go in this direction, okay? And what we're going to do is a walk. It's called a walking knee hug. So you're going to come, you're just going to walk forward, and you're going to bring your knee all the way up to your chest. And then you're just going to grab it, grab that knee, and you're moving, you're moving forward. And for these, um, for these activities, you should do about. I would say about 15 to 20 steps with each leg would be probably sufficient. If you can go a little further, that's fine. All right, the next one we're going to do is called butt kicks. And so you're just going to kind of jog, but you're going to really bring those heels up high to kick that, to kick that butt. So this is uh, working the front of that, the quadriceps, a little bit in that hamstring, getting a lot of blood flow and this is these are none of these exercises are meant to be a race. It's really meant to warm up and get those um, everything to your full range of motion. Alright, the next exercise is called Frankenstein. And so for this one you are going to be bringing your leg up and your arm out in front of you. So nice straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. And so just try to kick that person right in the funny as butt, okay? <laughs> and again, this is, this is slow and you want to bring that leg up as high as you can. But uh, you know, it shouldn't be painful. <laughs> just a stretch. <laughs> is walking lunges and again with this one you want to take a step out as far as you can because you want to keep that knee behind the toes so you're not putting a lot of stress on the knee so you want to you want to really step out really far in front of you and you're just gonna just kind of walk along with a big long step okay so let's have you guys do that too really stride really far out Alrighty, yeah, you kind of got the feel of that one. Um, the next one is called the, the Cocky Walk, and apparently there's a story behind this one. <laughs> I didn't realize it, because I was calling it the Cool Kid Walk, where you're just kind of going to go up on your tiptoes, you're going to go on your heels and your tiptoes, and you're just going to kind of kind of walk along, and you know, just kind of get those hips into it, move, move those hips, heel the toe all the way up on your tiptoes, because you're really cool. You gotta have an attitude with this one. Walk around. <laughs> now these ones today are on Facebook. Right? <laughs> There's a picture. So these are the look at the muscles, right? The calf muscles, the front of your leg, and so there's a cool kid. <laughs> She went to Purdue. Uh. <laughs> All right. 
The next one we're going to do are going to be the side lunges. This is just going to be, a, you're just going to be sitting in one place for this one. And just bring your feet about shoulder width apart, either facing straight ahead or a little bit out, okay? And you're just going to put your hands on your knees and you're just going to kind of lean forward and then backwards. And you can let your heel come, or the, your toes come off the floor. And that will put a little bit more motion right into that back of that leg and get down a little bit further too to really warm up those muscles, okay? Um, a couple other really good exercises that you can do to get people warming up um, and kind of just have fun with it. One would be if you have access to hula hoops, that would be good. Um, jump ropes are a great activity to start um, warming up with. Jumping jacks um, and uh, karaoke. I, yeah. Um, great vine. <laughs> Again, 80s phys ed. Great vine. <laughs> And so if we want us to do that, we're going to go around this way and we're just going to go, so it's just front and back. I'm guessing most of you have done this before. <laughs> Good. There you go. <laughs> and now, reverse. <laughs> so this will kind of incorporate, you know, the hips. So these are a lot of good exercises that you should do before they're going to be doing the run, um, before they're going to be doing the workout, get their blood flowing and stuff. Now some of these girls, depending on, okay, I'm going to go back. Static stretching does play a role in, the, uh, in uh, there is a role for static stretching, but it's not for injury prevention per se. But there's going to be a lot of girls out there that are going to be sore. They may not have exercises. There may be some coaches out here that are going to be sore, <laughs> depending on your activity level. And so, um, there are some static stretches that are good. Um, the, the ones that are listed in the program, there's one where you're just bringing your arms overhead and then just reaching back, pulling that shoulder, pulling that back. These should not be painful. You should be feeling, it should be a pull, it should be a stretching sensation, but it should not be sharp pain. That's too much, okay? There are ways, people can get injured doing stretching exercises. For that reason, we don't want people bouncing on a stretch. So if you're um, like doing a calf stretch, you shouldn't be bouncing on it. You should be just holding it and it should be about a 20 to 30 second hold, okay? So the other, the other stretches that we do, um, there's like kind of like, like uh, ones for the back. And so just leaning again. Um, Feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, hands just above the knees, sticking the butt out, and bringing your um, back up, and then letting it sag down, okay? And then just taking a deep breath on the way up, and then letting it sag back down. So there's those two stretching exercises for the back. For the legs, um, for the front part of the legs, the quadriceps, um, pulling the back, um, uh, pulling your leg behind your back. And again, you know, this is not always easy for with balance types of stuff. So having people um, hold on to a chair, another person, or what have you, so that they're not falling over as they're doing it. Because um, again, you're supposed to be nice and still when you're doing this. Hamstring stretches, the back part of the upper leg. Um, just putting your leg out in front of you with your toes up. And just again, sticking that butt out and just kind of uh, flexing the other knees to like, kind of lean back. You should be able to feel that in the back part of your leg. Um, calf stretches, going up against a wall or another, or another person, bringing your leg back behind you, feet pointing straight ahead, and then just kind of, uh, it's hard to do without a wall in front of you, but pushing against the wall um, and holding that, bringing your foot a little bit uh, further in, bending your knee so it gets both of the muscles in the back part of your leg. Um, again, holding these stretches for 20 to 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds each, not bouncing. And remembering that everybody has a different degree of flexibility. 